Thank you all for uh, having me here. Thank you, Peter, for the opportunity to speak today. Uh, so, how many people in this room got excited about that video of the automated home? I mean, that's that's revolutionary change within the way that we all interact with technology or don't interact with it, and it interacts with, it, with, it, with each other, other elements of the technology ecosystem. And we think that that's uh, going to re revolutionize the way that we all live over the next 5, 10, 15 years. My name is Jake Rashabi. I'm uh, one of the founders of an organization called Tech Riot. Um, I'm also an employee of an economic development agency. And my role within that economic development agency is to support uh, fast growth oriented entrepreneurs. And the way that we do that is by building collaborative ecosystems of companies and the uh, ecosystem of resources for those early stage companies. And uh, we believe that the Internet of Things is going to be that next major economic development opportunity for Colorado. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the organization here in a second. And, um, you know, we, uh, we've talked uh, a bit, both Peter and Kent have talked a little bit about IoT. The fact that so many of you are involved with it directly, uh, we'll go ahead and just kind of skip the 101 stuff. But I think it's important to note. So you take that video of the, how, the way that IoT uh, technologies are going to revolutionize the way that we live in our homes and apply that to the other major settings that this technology is going to impact. This uh, image was from a study from uh, a recent McKinsey white paper that really, instead of breaking it down, say, uh, by industry vertical, uh, because this touches nearly every industry vertical, uh, they basically looked at this industry or looked at this niche or this new technology and how it was going to affect the way that we live in these nine settings. And so you can imagine the ways that offices are going to also be impacted by that type of technology, the way vehicles are going to be impacted. Uh, on a larger scale, how cities and smart cities infrastructure is going to be uh, uh, impacted by this. And it's really important to think about, you know, the efficiencies that are created through this technology are really going to have a massive impact, um, not only financially, but on the way that we do business. Um, while the home-oriented or consumer-oriented products in this space are obviously getting a ton of the attention, that McKinsey report, for instance, uh, indicated that of the total economic impact of the IoT, uh, more than 70% of that was going to come in business-to-business -business applications. So I just encourage you as investors to, to, to broaden your scope to not only consumer-facing products, but also the big industrial products and um, the, what, what, what is referred to as the industrial IoT, because there's a tremendous amount of opportunity there as well. Another thing that we haven't, haven't mentioned specifically, but I think is probably implied, as these products proliferate, as these 50 billion products are a part of our lives, each one of those is going to be generating reams of data. And that data becomes very important and very valuable to companies but also very important to us in terms of understanding what we want, um, predicting what we want, in the case of say, uh, healthcare, uh, looking at previous activity and previous elements of our health record, for instance, and predicting what, uh, having truly predictive analytics to predict uh, future implications of our current actions and to intervene early. That in and of itself is uh, really a pretty as astounding uh, capability of this, this technology. Uh, we th are particularly excited about supporting the IoT community here in Colorado, uh, not only because it's a great business opportunity, <coughs> but because uh, you know, when you think of the social and environmental impacts of this type of technology, when applied to things like water use or food security, you can see that these aren't just business opportunities. These are opportunities to create massive efficiencies in inherently inefficient systems, which can literally uh, impact almost every, everyone on the planet. Uh, I, know that, I know that sounds like hyperbole, but literally, you know, we, we see uh, some of the smartest folks, some of the most tuned in folks in our networks really believe that this is a third wave of innovation in terms of Industrial revolution, internet, internet of things.
um, and they believe it's at that scale. Peter mentioned a statistic, the McKinsey report noted that this, uh, the economic impact of this industry would be roughly $11.1 trillion by 2025, and IoT would touch one-tenth of the global economy. Um, and importantly, and, and critically important to this group here, a uh, great research firm, uh, Gartner, uh, who has done a, a deep dive into the IoT, uh, noted that by 2018, just three years from now, more than 50% of those products that are gonna have that multi-trillion dollar impact are gonna come from firms that are less than three years old. So firms that are either forming right now or have yet to form. Uh, and so supporting early stage companies and especially providing those angel uh, level investments is critically important to uh, is supporting the ecosystem here in Colorado. And that's, that's why we formed Tech Riot. Uh, Tech Riot is really built to start to coalesce the resource ecosystem for those early stage companies and uh, second stage companies. We work really closely with Innovation Pavilion. Uh, they're one of the key uh, founders with us. Uh, we're, we're blessed to have the support of Aero Electronics, Colorado's biggest company by revenue. Uh, and also it's a pretty apparent uh, uh, ROI, business ROI for Aero Electronics being the world's largest global electronics com, uh, component supply chain company. Uh, they want to find the best and brightest IoT and most impactful IoT companies in the world, and they want to engage with them here in Colorado. Uh, we've started to build out that IoT ecosystem just over the last four months or so. We've had the support of a number of great organizations in doing that. Um, and including yourselves. Uh, Peter and Dave have been amazing at kind of helping us get the word out and helping to start to inventory the companies uh, that are active in this space here in Colorado. This is just a handful that were kind of top of mind. Um, it by no means is that um, uh, any sort of complete listing. I've personally probably engaged with the C-suites or executives of 30 IoT companies in the last 30 days. Um, and I can tell you that there are some amazing and impactful technologies that are being developed right here at home. Um, our goals as an organization, as Tech Riot, are really to elevate the perception of Colorado and the IoT uh, uh, industry here in Colorado, to tell that story better nationally, and to accelerate the growth of those IoT companies. And the way that we do that, we obviously we do a lot of event-based things for, for education and networking. We would also work really closely with those companies and the resources within co uh, large co's like Aero Electronics um, to help with design and engineering validation, market validation, um, and then access to capital, which is uh, one of the key reasons why I'm so excited to uh, be here kind of sharing what we're doing with you all tonight. Um, we are primarily volunteer driven and there's a ton of ways to get involved. So if you're interested in that, please uh, uh, seek me out. And I wanted to notice uh, Susie Gutierrez, who's the, the lead on the innovation team, innovation pavilion team on this effort. Um, and she's a great person to connect with if you're interested in getting involved. We've uh, built an, a volunteer advisory board, and like I said, we've built a, we, we run a monthly uh, meeting that just kicked off uh, a couple weeks ago of just the founders and, and C-levels of those IoT companies based here in Colorado, trying to understand what the barriers to their growth are and what the needs are um, to accelerate their growth. And uh, we're really, really hopeful um, to be able to build some really meaningful and impactful initiatives to support and, and remove some of those barriers to growth. Um, I mentioned the public events, you can find that online. Um, and then finally, uh, and then I know that you, you all came here to see the deals, not the, um, not the infrastructure as we consider ourselves um, to this industry here. But we, about two weeks ago, with the, with the support of Aero Electronics, launched a national accelerator around IoT called Tech Riot Accelerate. And the program essentially brings those re that, that ecosystem of resources to bear on finalist companies, but it starts out with a very broad pool. We currently are accepting applications from around the country. Uh, we're getting great response. And the process that we use, I know that many of you in this room are familiar with the Valid Eval platform as an analysis tool. Every company that applies to this program, uh, which I should say is 
free, doesn't take equity, and doesn't require relocation here to, here to Colorado uh, to participate, which makes it pretty attractive to these companies, especially early stage companies. Um, but each of those companies that applies goes through that valid eval evaluation process. And so we're gaining an incredible amount of insight on which companies are really gaining trash, traction nationally and have the ability to have a big impact. Um, we will be accepting applications through the end of the month. There'll be an uh, application evaluation period and we'll be announcing mid-December, we believe. Um, our finalist companies will be starting the program in January. Um, like I said, really focused, not so much on just funding, but also that engineering and design validation for hardware companies especially. Um, identifying, uh, well, validating market potential uh, and connecting them with target anchor customers or uh, channel partners. And then uh, it will conclude in two pitch days, one here in Denver and one in the Bay Area. Um, so I'll leave it at that. I know that was a little bit long, but I really appreciate the opportunity to share with you one of the homegrown uh, initiatives that are that is developing here uh, to support this really dynamic and quick-growing uh, industry here in Colorado. So thank you. I appreciate it.